Welcome to the little oasis we call the Girls of the West Wing. Lola Goose got up early this morning, hoping to have a little bath time for herself. Her stepsister, Gabby Goose, also decided she would like to take a morning bath. Lola Goose tries to take up as much as the pool as possible, possibly trying to convince Gabby Goose that there is not enough room for the both of them. As Gabby Goose tries to test the water, Lola Goose again attempts to convince Gabby Goose to come back later. Today, Lola Goose woke up and chose violence. It's at this point Gabby Goose takes a step back to assess her situation. Does she risk escalating the situation and just cannonball into the pool, or does she calmly convince Lola Goose that they could both share the pool? And Gabby Goose makes her move. All of Lola Goose's protests are in vain. Lola Goose knows the inevitable is coming now. Gabby Goose proceeds to ride her stepsister like a swayback pony in a backwoods rodeo. Lola Goose, sensing defeat, decides to surrender and exit the pool. Gabby Goose proceeds with her victory dunk dance. And with the full force of a tsunami, Lola Goose has returned to the pool. At this point, Gabby Goose could only hold on for the ride and contemplate her life's decisions. As control of the pool slipped out of Gabby's webbed toes, Lola decided to give her one final farewell splash. Gabby maintains her pride and sends Lola a reminder that she only lost the battle and not the war. Gabby reminds us all that geese are resourceful and are completely capable of bathing in a very small bowl of water when that's what's available.